it's Michelle Lupton back again for another episode of Case Me Christmas Card. Now today my guest is Hanalee Bester and I'm going to be making this uh, non-conventional coloured Christmas card today and I'm going to be starting off with making the background um, using some distress oxides and some water. So I have a piece of Canson watercolour cardstock here um, it, this particular piece is a lighter weight um, of this uh, paper, um, but it'll work perfectly fine for this technique. So I started with some Kitsch Flamingo ink, which is a really pretty pink colour, and I want to get some texture um, with these colours. So I don't just want a whole lot of water with paint and a nice smooth application. I want to actually see some brush strokes. Okay, so I am trying to be um, a little bit, I want there to be enough water so that it is really pale, but I want it to be dry enough so I do get a little bit of texture from the brush strokes. Now I'm adding some Blueprint Sketch, which when you water it down, gives you a really, really sort of pale, purpley blue colour which I really, really like. So um, I didn't want this to be really intense at all. I wanted it super, super pale. Now I did add quite a fair bit of water, so I'm just using my heat tool here to dry off my panel before I cut it down with my paper trimmer. And um, I'm going to adhere this to my card base. So I'm making sure that I have um, about a quarter inch border around each side of this panel because I want that white border all the way around the edge. Um, I quite often do that. I just really like a little bit of white space, even if it's only a very small amount of white space. It just is satisfying to me. But also the card that I'm casing today from Hanalee has a white border, so I went with it. Now you can see that her background has sort of the painted look, but I think hers actually has some texture on it as well, which I haven't included in my card. Um, she has used these beautiful Altenew flowers and a sentiment from Altenew as well. She has also got some bling on her card as well, which I'm going to incorporate as well. The major difference between our cards is that mine's a Christmas card and I'm not using a floral image. I'm using this beautiful Christmas tree image from Hero Arts. This is the Wishing You Tree Bundle. So I'm just going to be using the main image, the Christmas tree from this set, along with its matching die. So to stamp this, I'm using my Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink, which um, jumps up until recently. Uh, it was um, really in need of re-inking, but you can see I've got um, a really good image here. Even so, I wanted to stamp it twice because I wanted it to be super duper black. But I'm also using this ink because I am going to be using some Copic markers over the top of this. So I wanted to make sure that I was using a Copic safe ink here. So I have taken a piece of white cardstock, stamped on it. I'm now um, getting out my uh, Spellbinders uh, Platinum 6 die cutting machine to cut out this image with its matching die. And I actually cut out two extra panels from just some scrap cardstock that I had. And now I'm just going to be adding some liquid glue. This is uh, the glitter, art glitter glue. Um, in the little bottle with the very, very fine tip on it, which is really, really handy. Um, so I'm just adding some of that liquid glue onto each of these. It has a really, really good hold. So these, once they are stuck together, they're not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to layer these up so I have a nice sturdy um, embellishment uh, for my card. And once I've done that, I'm going to pull out some Copic markers to colour it in. So you can see I have a very pale sort of greyish toned blue here. Um, and I'm just going to be colouring in the leaves. And they're a tiny little sort of star shaped. It's very hard to describe the shape of those things. Anyway, I'm colouring them in as blue as well. And then um, right at the attachment point of those leaves to the sort of frond that each one is attached to, I'm adding a little bit darker of that uh, purpley blue. 
Now with the star at the top and also with the ornaments around this card, I'm using some um, pinks. These are in the R family, but they're sort of the higher number R, so they're a more greyish um, R colour. And I'm just adding a little bit of detail with a slightly darker one here. Now, if I was doing this in a live, I would expect people right now to be writing in the comments, you missed one, but I didn't notice until right at the very end. <laughs> but don't worry, I will come back and fix that. <laughs> Never fear. Okay, so now I have this um, wonderful set from Hero Arts. It's called the Comfort and Joy Messages stamp set. And I'm using that um, sentiment from the stamp set. I have inked it up in some Versamark ink and I'm adding some Hero Arts white embossing powder and heat setting that. So yeah, making spirits bright, I thought fit that um, lovely tree really well. Now I'm doing my little trick here of um, cutting around parts of the sentiment with my paper trimmer to get straight edges, but then I'm going to be fussy cutting around some of the letters that go below the lines and letters that go above the line. So um, I, because I don't want to um, waste too much of my card design covered up by a black panel, um, I'm trying to sort of yeah, get the edge of that piece as close to the letters as I possibly can so it doesn't take up too much real estate on my card. All right, now I'm adding, again, the same liquid glue to the back of my Christmas tree here. And I'm going to adhere it so it's just hanging off the left-hand side ever so slightly. And that won't be a problem because my cards generally are five and a half by four and an eighth. Um, because I need them to be compatible with A4 cardstock, which I can get in Australia as well. Um, and also my envelopes are C6, so this will fit perfectly well in a C6 envelope. Okay, so I've added some little um, foam adhesive pieces on the back of this sentiment, but part of the sentiment is going to be popped up on top of that tree so I'm just adding some liquid glue just to that part and yeah adhering that nice and straight. Now to finish because Hanalee's card had a little bit of bling on it I'm going to be adding some sequins and while I was adding the sequins I realized ha, I missed coloring in one of those baubles so out came my Copic markers again and quickly fixed that little boo-boo so yeah you didn't have to worry at all. I came back to it and fixed it. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off adding these little sequins with the same liquid glue using my little um, jewel picker tool here um, to get them right in the right spot and then my card will be done. So I'm going to be showing you two cards now, one that I made earlier and the one that I just made in this video here. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing me make this card. Thank you so much to Hanalee for being my guest today and thank you for her inspiration. I'll see you again next time. Bye.